Today we are going to tackle a very important topic, the programs that you should never install on your computer or laptop. I'm talking about those that can cause more harm than good. Not an antivirus, this little boy right here. This program, which is used to be a leader in digital protection, is now more known for its disadvantages than its benefits. So, Norton tends to consume a significant amount of system resources. So, it's, it's making your computer and a laptop slower than it should be. And additionally, many users reported that Norton can conflict with other software. So, causing compatibility issues and systems instability. So, this can lead to frequent crashes and frustration. Okay, the second one we are going to talk about the McAfee antivirus. I have no idea if you pronounce it that way, but <laughs> that's how I'm going to say. So, now let's talk about the McAfee or MCFAFE. So, I don't know, Ren. Like Norton, McAfee has had its heyday, but nowadays it's more known for being heavy and invasive. Yeah, so many users complain that McAfee consumes a excessive amount of system resource, making the computers lower and less responsive. You can actually check all the information that I'm telling you guys. You can put on Google McAfee slowing down computer and you have a lot of complaints okay i mean reddit how bad is mccarthy for your computer blah 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 it's mccarthy going to slow down my computer yes upvote it means that a lot of people voted for this so furthermore like norton mccarthy can also conflict with other software causing compatibility issues that can affect the proper functioning of your system so therefore if you value your computer performance and you want to avoid headaches it's best to avoid installing Norton and McAfee they are a lighter and more efficient options that are available on the market that offer equally reliable protection without compromising your system performance okay if you want a good and free and lightweight and has sleep freeze antivirus i recommend a lot what i use which is the 360 antivirus you can search that in google just type in its name go on the first one 360 total security protection antivirus free go on a website and click in free download i use that a lot in my computer not in the moment but let, let's open it it's very easy to use you'll just open right here for me it's in portuguese because it's my language but there will be it in english you can go on antivirus you can go on the complete verification and that will run a verification it it vanish all the virus of your computer so that's the best program that you can search and use okay it's user friendly uh, easy to use interface you know this makes navigating and using the program a pleasant experience for many users for me as well okay you can you have all you need in just a few tabs if you don't want to um, mess with the tabs you can go, just go on verification click verify and that's okay additionally like most antivirus the 306 antivirus offer a variety, variety of security features including real-time protections and the same thing as the others the difference in it it also has some kind of system cleaning and performance optimization so that differentiate it from the others okay now let's talk about the shopping extensions. They may seem harmless but even useful. And for me, I, I use a lot, I'm not going to lie, but the way I use, I don't install my computer, so it's very different. They can carry off discount components and compare product prices, which is very good, and even help find special deals. I use here in Brazil something called the Promobyte. Here I'm going to look for a SSD, one terabyte and it will show the cheaper one for me and that's very very nice you can go on activate effects and there will be there 
In theory, shop extensions can be a great tool to save time and money while shopping. They can offer discount. However, not everything is a rosy. So there are some important concerns to consider when using those extensions. First of all, many of them collect a significant amount of data about your browsing activity and processing your habits. So this information may be shared with third parties, such as advertising companies, which is very, very normal to happen. This raises concerns about privacy and security, especially considering the growing number of data breaching incidents. But also be aware, Facebook does it, if you don't know, and it does without you being aware. So it's kinda normal, okay? Here in Brazil, we have some law um, called LGPD. Probably you guys have that as, that as well, but I don't know if it's, it's the same. It's um, law protect data, something like that. Tries to protect our data, but uh, doesn't work a lot. Now let's talk about the much hyped PC speed boosters. Those programs are often touted as miraculous solutions to speed up your computer or laptop performance, but it's important to be cautious. In reality, they can bring more headaches than solutions. Those speeds, those speed boosters often work by optimization by optimizing certain aspects of the operation system or adjusting settings to supposedly make the computer faster. However, what many users fail to realize is that those options can interfere with the older software installing on the system. And that's where the problem arises. Those programs have the potential to cause conflicts with the older software already installed, resulting in instabilities in the operation systems. For example, they may interfere with the hardware drives, causing sudden crashes or compatibility issues. Moreover, some of those speed boosters may even introduce malware into your system. So often distributed by unreliable sources, they may contain malicious code. It will compromise your computer security. I use the I personally use the Cleaner. It's a very good and easy and free program to kind of boost your computer that we closed right now we are going to talk about that in a little bit but for now let's talk about the cleaner the cleaner it's a pc booster why that is called pc booster because i can go on optimization of the system we analyze and now now i can see every program that is causing impact of the performance of my computer so i can put it down and that will improve okay i use cleaner for around 10 years so i can confirm it's legit now let's talk about the bloatware those are pre-installed software that comes with your new computer while included with the good intentions by the manufacturers those programs can cause more problems to solutions for users. The main issue with the blower is that, that it tends to take up a significant storage space on your hard drive or SSD. And this can be especially problematic with computers with smaller storage units where every gigabyte of free space is valuable. But it's easy. You just buy your computer, you are seeing a lot of programs that just came with your computer. You go on menu, panel, control panel, programs, uninstall program, localize the program, click with the right button, go on install. It's like that. Now let's try to talk about thing, all the software included in free programs. In this case, in Cleaner, even when I already installed, I already have for 10 years, Sometimes when I open a program, we suggest to install a new program. So that is that is all the software, including free programs. Sometimes it's even paid. So if the program is connected to your credit card, you may be buying something without knowing just by clicking one button. Usually the other software, including in free programs, comes when we are installing the program, not like that situation in my cleaner 
that I already have for 10 years and I just open and it's showing up okay a lot of those programs are unchecked programs so it can cause a lot of problems it can have virus it can have malware it can have a lot of things so be careful last but not least let's talk about the software piracy in addition to the legal and ethical consequences I use a lot you are also exposing your computer to serious security risks instead look for legal alternatives such as open source software or free versions of commercial programs just one example I used Cinema 4D like Jack Sparrow for a long enough time then I figured out Blender Blender it's a free open source 3D program and I can do everything that I want with this program it's not a advertising just a, a, a way to to put an image in your head of what I'm talking about if you use Photoshop you can go on Photopea you can go on um, I, I don't know the, the Canva you can go in a lot of places to to use as an alternative of it oh I want to add into video uh, and I use I used to use the Adobe Premiere that it's paid you can go on a Vinci that it's free so there is a lot of options that you can go to avoid use software piracy okay so if, if this video helped you please leave a comment if it didn't leave a comment as well that way I can see I can know what happened and I can provide another ways to help you guys if you are not subscribed please subscribe and I see you in the next video